Third, the writer and presenter, Danny Wallace. I wondered whether I could do it, whether I could start my own country. King Danny the First. His subject is the Ghostbusters films. Next contender, please. And your name? Danny Wallace. Your chosen charity? Build Africa. And your chosen subject? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters in two minutes starting now. Ghostbusters and the sequel Ghostbusters 2 are both set in which American city? New York. Correct. Which actor who plays the part of Egon Spengler co-wrote the scripts for both films with Dan Aykroyd? Harold Ramis. Correct. Which government agency is represented by the character Walter Peck who shuts down the containment system with disastrous consequences? The Environmental Protection Agency. Yes. What's the name of the minion of Gozer who possesses Dana Barrett in the first film? Zool. Yes. Which character is lowered down an old air shaft in a Manhattan street and finds a river of slime running through the old pneumatic transit system in Ghostbusters 2? Ray. Yes. Whom does the librarian Alice say her uncle thought he was when she's asked if anyone in her family had a history of mental illness? St. Jerome. Correct. Rick Moranis plays Lewis Tully, Dana's neighbour in the films. Which heavyweight actor was originally asked to play the part? John Candy. Correct. When Mr. Stay Puffed arrives, Ray says that he remembers the marshmallows from when he used to roast them at which camp? Wakanda. Correct. What's the name of the scourge of Carpathia and sorrow of Moldovia who commands Janosch to find him a child so he might live again? I sound like such a nerd. Vigo. <laughs> yes. What foodstuff jumps out of the box and cooks of its own accord in Dana's flat before she contacts the Ghostbusters? Eggs. Yes. Which artist sang the BAFTA award-winning theme from Ghostbusters which reached number two in the UK singles chart in 84? Ray Parker Jr. Correct. What's the name of the television program presented by Peter Benkman in Ghostbusters 2? Well, of the psychic. Yes. When Ray is being interviewed by Joe Franklin on television, what does Joe say is the big question that's been on everybody's mind? Is Elvis alive and have you seen him lately? Yes, how is Elvis? Have you seen him lately? Into what kind of household appliance do Egon and Ray pour slime before playing it music by Jackie Wilson? A household toaster. Yes. During the making of Ghostbusters, what substance was actually used to create the marshmallow dropped on everyone after Mr. Stay Puffed is destroyed? Shaving foam. Shaving cream, yeah. In Ghostbusters 2, what form of ghostly transport runs through Winston when three of the Ghostbusters are underground? It's an old train. Yeah. On which day of the year does the Statue of Liberty walk through the streets of Manhattan, I'll finish the question, and smash through the roof of the Museum of Art? It was uh, New Year's Eve. It was, indeed. You had no passes. You've got 17 points. Thanks very much. Thank you. And now, finally, Danny, please. Oh, boy. Nice. High scores, eh? You put an advert in a local paper, what was it, five years ago, yeah. saying, join me. Join me, yeah. Now, what I, was the point? Join me in what? Well, I didn't know. I didn't know what the point was at that stage. I just put the advert in just saying, join me, just to see whether people would join me. I didn't know what they were joining or, or, you know, what we'd do in the end, and they didn't know who they were joining, and I'd assumed I'd get millions of people. Uh, initially, I got one. <laughs> and from there, I got thousands more, and, and to this day, I've got more than 20,000 people and uh, who call me that. Now, presumably, at this stage, you do know what they were joining or yeah, are joining. Yeah, yeah. After I had a couple of hundred people, I, you know, I had an attack of guilt, and I thought, all these people are looking to me, they're calling me the leader, so I thought, rather than use my powers for evil, I'll use my powers for good. So I turned them into the Karma Army, and I asked them every Friday they'd have to do a random act of kindness for a complete stranger. Uh, and that's what they did. Right. You have a score of 29 to beat, which is formidable. But you have 17 points already. Right. So, two minutes, general knowledge, starting now. Which legendary soul singer was billed on some album sleeves as the godfather of soul? James Brown. Correct. A Suffolk Punch and a Shire, a breeds of which animal? Horse. Yes. Which comedian hosts TV Burp, a review of the week's television programmes? Harry Hill. Yes. Ken Livingston described it as the scariest thing I've read since Silence of the Lambs. He was referring to the biography of which prospective London mayoral candidate? Boris Johnson. Correct. In which Dickens novel does Sidney Carton go to the guillotine in place of Charles Darnay? I should know that. Pass. Which country house in Hertfordshire is the ancestral home of the Marquis of Salisbury? Uh, pass. Which word of German origin is used for a shop selling specialist groceries and luxury foods such as preserved meats, foreign cheeses and spiced loaves? Delicatessen. Correct. What in the Bible was made of gopher wood and measured 300 cubits long, 50 wide and 30 high? Noah's Ark. Correct. Which band has had hits with When You Were Young, Read My Mind and Tranquilize? 
uh, you'd say? The Killers. In 1897, which writer sent a cable to the American Press Association saying reports of my death are greatly exaggerated after his obituary had been published by mistake? Oh, uh, uh, Hemingway. Mark Twain. Which Mexican revolutionary gave his name to the type of bushy moustache fashionable in the late 60s? <laughs> Ernesto Handlebar? Zapata. <laughs> in the television series Dad's Army, who was captain of the Wilmington on Sea Home Guard Platoon? Mannering. Yes. Which Parisian boulevard links the Arc de Triomphe with the Place de la Concorde? Uh, pass. What surname is shared by the musical brothers Aaron, Art, Charles and Cyril and the footballing brothers Gary and Phil? Neville. What? Neville? Yes. Which 19th century war was fought between the Russians on one side and the British, French and Ottoman Turks on the other? The pass. Which word for a wooden frame for hanging criminals can also be used to describe a grim, sardonic type of humour? Gallows. Correct. According to superstition, which insect should be told about a death in their keeper's family? A bee? Yeah, bees. Absolutely. Right, fair enough. Well, absolutely. Extraordinary. I'll believe you this time. Uh, you had four passes. The Crimean War yeah. was the 19th century one we were looking for. The Champs-Élysées links the Arc de Triomphe, etc. Hatfield House is the home of the Marcus Salisbury and the Dickens novel, A Tale of Two Cities. Four passes. Danny Wallace, 27 points. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Well, a close contest. Let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with 16 points, Nicholas. In third place with 27 points, Danny. Second place, 28 points, Simon. In first place, 29 points, Kay. That's it for this series of Celebrity Mastermind. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the normal Mastermind continues on BBC Two. Good night.